How many thousand of my poorest subjects are at this hour asleep? Oh, sleep. Gentle sleep. Nature's soft nurse. How I frighted thee that thou wilt no more weigh my eyelids down, nor steep my senses in forgetfulness. Why rather sleep liest thou in smoky cribs, upon uneasy pallets stretching thee, and hushed by buzzing night flies to thy slumber, than in the perfumed chambers of the great, under the canopies of costly state, and lulled by sound of sweetest melody. O oh, thou dull god! Why liest thou with a vial and leaped the kingly couch or watch case, or common larum bell? Might thou upon the high and giddy mast seal up the ship boy's eyes? and rock his brains in cradle of the crude imperious surge and in the visitation of the winds, taking the ruffian billows by the top, curling their monstrous heads and hanging them in deafening clamour under the slippery clouds that, in the hurly, death itself awakes. Canst thou, O partial sleep, Give thy repose to the wet sea boy in an hour so rude. And yet, in the calmest and most stillest night, with all appliances and means to boot, deny it to a king. Then, happy low, Lie down, uneasy lies the head that wears a crown.